Tangri fam. Today we're at the largest gachapon store in the world and we're gonna try and find the most lamest or the crappiest gachapon we can find. They say they've got over 3,000 machines. We've got to be able to find one. Also, keep watching till the end as we're gonna try the most high-tech gacha machine we have ever seen. It ain't cheap. Let's go have a look. It does not look like a gachapon store in here. There's so many cool displays. There's two sides to this place. There's some on the left here, and there's some on the right here. Don't know where to even begin. First, let's get some cash. Oh yeah, let's roll. I don't know how they make animals look so cute all the time. Camping panda. How about some furniture? It actually looks really nice. All right, here's my first pick on one of the lamest gacha ponds we can find here. A desk. How about a, a miniature clock? I wonder if it actually works. Or uh, a little bag. Pencil case, miniature pencil case that you definitely cannot use these pencils. And you definitely cannot put a pencil in there either. Okay, so there's actually one main room. There's actually another room. This place is ridiculous. Just walls and walls of gachapon machines. Oh my god, these haiku gachapon are so cool. I'm gonna get me one. Let's hope I get Hinata. Hinata or Kageyama? Who did I get? From the looks of it, it's Aikawa. I think Tina will love that. Look what I got for you. Aikawa! Aikawa! Yeah. What have you got, Rafi? Okay. Yeah. Oh, lucky you! Charlotte, what have you got there, Flo? An EV ring. Accessorizing. Uh, you think he has buyer's remorse? Alright, my number two pick would be concrete mixer. Like, I'm not too sure I would really enjoy this. I mean, I don't even know if kids would like this. Oh my god, this looks so cool. Look at Enosuke. It's got two, two swords. Koka Ichibanya keychains. I might even just eat it accidentally. Alright, my third pick. Miniature storage containers like WTF. I mean, how are you supposed to fit anything in there really? Or maybe does it come with these little things? Pretty cute though. Pretty cute. So they don't just have normal bins for their gacha balls. They've got this machine that collects it all. Bye. Now I want gacha balls just to put it in there because that looks fun. Hey, I want nothing. <laughs> okay, I think we have found the weird section because these are so random. Like, this is just a bunch of animals happily camping. Here we have, I don't know what the freak that is. I have no idea. I'm scared. Yeah. Or would you like something a little bit raunchy, a uh, raunchy cat? I have the one of the most weirdest and funniest animals. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Annie, I think I found the worst gacha pond for you, and you'll love this. How about you get yourself some scuba or gas tanks? Yeah. We need one of those, don't we? I think it's gas tanks, baby. Gas tanks? Who exactly. wants some gas tanks? I think that's mm. our number four for sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I'm ever seeing this. It's like a mini diorama you can put your gacha pond in to display it. So now I wonder if this actually works. A shave a gachapon, or is it just for fun? That is so funny, ice cream dog. They're all like shaped like little ice cream animals. All right, we've scaled through most gacha machines in the world's largest gachapon store. Now it's time for Andy and I to pick our lamest gachapon we could find. <laughs> what did I get? A container. Andy, I got you some. Oh, what'd you get? Got your potato. A potato. <laughs> That's just all love. That's it love is, right this there. Is the most expensive potato I've ever bought. It's 300 yen one potato like that. Oh my goodness. Wait, there might be something inside. Ooh. Ooh. It's just a hollow potato. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Andy is constructing his gacha that he got. Ta da! The most useless storage <laughs> containers in the world. Two of the most lamest gacha ponds we could find, guys. Now viewers, let us know which one is your pick. Um, I'm guessing none. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we just found the use for the potato, okay? Here What's the go. use for it, Andy? 
There we go. Fits perfectly. See, the potato is not useless after all. It can fit other useless junk. The storage boxes are not doing their job of storing anything. <laughs> it's the other way around. We are now going to try out the world's most advanced, as it seems, and biggest gacha plum machine. These babies are worth 500 yen each. So let's see what we get. No, no, 1,000. 1,000 yen? 1,000 yen. Oh my god, 1,000 yen. Oh, all right, let's do it. Guys, you want to come twist it together? Yeah. Twist it together? Okay. Now. Looking in Japanese, we have no idea what's going on. Go faster. Do we get anything? Here we go. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Workout and a half. This is a lot of effort for one gacha <laughs> This is so much effort, guys. Hey, is that what you got? Got the coronavirus. Contain him. Somebody contain him. Imagine if you put in a thousand yen just for this little TV display, like you don't even get a gacha pon at the end. There he is. I think it's, you get to pick one of these guys. This is the highest quality gacha pon I have ever gotten. It costs 1,000 yen. So look how good it looks though. I got the earth element. So they've got different elements you can get and this is earth. If you go to the other side of the store, there's a whole area full of claw machines where you can spend more money. Like, as if we haven't spent enough already. Oh my God, Drakon. Looks so funny. Drakonichi! Baji! Baji this is genius. I would spend so much money trying to get this fan in this heat in Japan. All right, folks, we have spent way too much money in here. We need to get out right now. But come check out the world's biggest gacha store. You are going to spend so much money here. As always, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next Japan video. Peace out.